Ryan is in Phoenix. Hey, Ryan, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, uh, my sister and her husband, they're having some marriage troubles, and she's moved into our house just for a couple of days because of some arguments over finance. He wants to make a Dungeons and Dragons man cave and take out a twenty thousand dollar home equity Wait a minute. loan. That, that's an oxymoron. That is not a man cave. Okay, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> well played. <laughs> yeah. It's, How it's old is this arm. boy? Uh, he's in his twenties, upper twenties. Wow. Wow. Okay. He wants to take out a dun- he wants a Dungeon and Dragons man cave, and uh, so what? And he's wanting to spend money she doesn't want to spend. Is that it? Yeah, so she'd have to sign in, sign on with the home equity loan. Oh, he wants to borrow money for it. Yes, it's to borrow money to take oh. a home equity loan for it. And, and how much? How much are we going to spend on said cave? Uh, they're looking to do a twenty thousand dollar loan. Wow. That's quite a dungeon, yeah. and it must have real dragons. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, certainly one that moves and maybe breathes some smoke for that kind of money. Wow. <laughs> He's got some big visions. <laughs> but or the something. problem here is it's really driving a wedge between them and their marriage. And I, I need some help. So if she's living with me right now, I need some help in knowing how I can help guide them, give them some good advice and, and what they're doing so they yeah. can get through so this. So what kind of really income, helpful. what kind of household income do they have? Uh, they've got to be around 50K a year. So as much as I want to make fun of it, I'll sidestep that for a second because it's just too, it's too easy. But um, I can understand that. <laughs> the, um, but but let's just say that virtually anything you want to do that's legal and moral with money, I'm fine with. It's your money, okay? Right. So if you want to build a Dungeons and Dragons man cave, it's not probably on the list of things that'll happen in my lifetime for me. But that's okay. If you want to do that, that's all right. And hey, me the, but the trick the trick would be a couple things. You would have to use Uh, you'd have to have several basic principles that you followed, okay? So whether it's, in my case, my version of that is I own too many firearms, okay? An absurd absurd number, just because I'm a collector, okay? And uh, so that's the same, that's just as stupid to some people as this is to uh, other people, right? So same thing. But in that case, so here's what would have to happen. A, I would need to pay cash, number one. If right. I can't pay cash for my um, absurd hobbies, mine is guns, his is this, okay, then you don't do it. It's it's out of range, okay? Number two, uh, it needs to be, when I'm done with the whole thing, a small percentage of my net worth and income. So, in other right. words, if I, have, if I make $30,000 a year and I have $400,000 worth of firearms, that's asinine. That makes sense. Okay. That totally makes sense. And so it needs to be a small percentage of your world because it's, it is a hobby for fun by definition. And when your fun takes up too much of your life, it no longer is fun when you're like a grown-up and stuff. Okay. Right. So, so one, we're going to pay cash. Two, it needs to be a small percentage. And three, here's the hard one here. And this is where the rubber meets the road on this one, even more than the other two. Um. It can't, I can't put my selfish desires in front of the needs and wants of my family. Right. And so if I, in my case, I'm using my firearms as the absurd thing. If I am doing that and my wife doesn't have a good car, well, that's a little boy wanting to collect hunting guns or or collect guns, okay? Okay. And and uh, and I'm so I'm I'm putting my desires ahead of the good of my overall family. My children's college fund isn't funded, but I bought a new gun. That's right, a that's right, a that's right. a child, not a man. That's a child, not a woman. When she puts a six thousand dollar purse in, on the shelf and her children's college fund isn't funded, that's a child. And right. ain't no coach in the world worth that if your kid isn't going to school. Okay, so right. that's where the problem is here. All three of these are violated in this case. And it has nothing so, to do with Dungeons and Dragons or the weirdness of all that. It has everything to do with A, he's borrowing money, B, he can't afford it, and C, the 
big deal for me is if I'm her brother, if I'm you, uh, is that right. he is putting his little selfish wants ahead of the needs of his own wife. And I think that's how we've been seeing it too. You know, it's, it, it does seem childish, but we, the problem is it's, it, I mean, we have problems in the past with it and everything with those two, but it's hard to get them on the same page. You know, it's just, well, because they're, because they're, they're immature. Right. I mean, she's put her foot down. She's, she's got him out of credit card debt. She everything. married him. So she's immature. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because he's immature beyond belief. Emotionally. Right. Right. He, he's a little baby boy that wants his little thing and he's having a little fit and that puts her in the seat of mommy instead of the it seat of wife. Gratification. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, and so it's, what it's they need, right what they the desperately they need is not financial counseling. They need marriage counseling. Right. And I'd, needs, I'd, I'd have to agree. Yeah. And, and so if you want to pay for something, don't pay for financial peace university. It won't help them. Okay. Pay for marriage counseling. Get them in with a good pastor, a good marriage counselor that can help these two grow up. But when that she married true. this guy, she knew he was weird. Yeah, I think I think it went pretty quick, and and then it just went. They got into it, so yeah. Doesn't and matter. I, 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 listen, I've gotten into got some worse, things. You know? I've gotten into some things really quick too. And when I was an immature little baby child, I put my selfish desires in front of my wife's and um we've been married 40 years and she says we've had 33 good years of marriage and it was the years where i put my selfish desires in front of her that she's laughing about they're not fun they're funny now they weren't funny back then hopefully someday (laughs) they can heal them their marriage and both of them emotionally mature in this process and they can look back and laugh at the absurdity of we almost lost our marriage over a dungeons and dragons man cave I mean, that really, 30 years later, has got to be funny. I'm just saying. It's it's funny for, it's almost funny right now, honestly. I mean, we, we've laughed and it's laughing and then you, then you think, wait a second, this is for real. Yeah. <laughs> right and now. it's causing, so, it's causing a divorce. Oh my gosh. I mean, she had to move out. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it got bad, but hopefully. Yeah, you might hopefully have a be... problem with your hobby if dot, 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 right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. When they get on the same page as a married couple, then the finances can get on the same page. But Dave is absolutely right. This is a full alarm marriage issue. It's got to be dealt with. Then the money can take uh, the next priority piece. But right now, there's bigger issues going on here. So here's a way to meet him. Okay. I don't, okay. Ha- you know, I would tell her to tell him this I don't have a problem with you building a man cave. I do have a problem with your putting your needs or your selfish self in front of the good of our family and our marriage. I do have a problem with borrowing money to do it. And I do have a problem with spending money that is an excessive amount considering our current financial state. And, uh, but, but if we can get all of those things straightened out and you want to build a man cave someday that with cash, and that is a small percentage of our world, even if I don't understand the, the whole thing, we can do that. All right. And, and uh, well, But I, in other words, it's not no, it's not now, I'm not using these principles. Right. But, right. And I think you're right. It does come down to just change in, and uh, that's through Christ. So exactly. keep them in your prayers, and we'll keep them in ours. Exactly. So. Yeah, and, and, you know, if you can get them in with a good pastor— this may be the thing that creates a whole spiritual movement in their marriage that facilitates the emotional maturity, that helps cause it to grow up. Because one thing about a powerful spiritual walk is one of the things it'll always teach you is to not be so dadgum selfish and self-centered. And um, it's the main problem with every marriage, by the way, including Ken's. <laughs> hey, let's go to commercial, shall we? And mine. This is The Ramsey Show.